Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 7.5 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 7.5 is called Add and Subtract Fractions. So we're taking what we've learned in 7.1 through 7.4 and we're just kind of putting it together. So we've learned how to add fractions and subtract fractions. Now we're going to have a word problem where we may have to do both in order to solve it. And this is still, we're having fractions with common denominators, so it's really easy when we have common denominators to add or subtract these fractions. So let's just go ahead and get into the problem. It says Julie is making a poster book for a report. The directions say to use one-fifth, this says one-fifth, I know it's kind of small, one-fifth of the poster to describe the setting. See how they've broken it up into fifths? Here's one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. And she's to use two fifths of the poster to describe the characters. So she's got one row there and one row there for the characters. And the rest of the poster will be to describe the plot. What part of the poster will she use to describe the plot? Now, we can kind of see from this model already here that our answer is going to be two fifths, but let's go ahead and go through all this math just to um, help us understand. So first, we're going to use a model that says shade blank to represent the part for the setting. I've got to look back up here and see that my setting is one fifth. So I'm going to shade one fifth to represent the setting. So I'll go ahead and do that one fifth for the setting. Then shade how much for the characters. I look up here and I see characters two fists so I'm going to color first let me write down two fists for characters and then I'm going to actually color in two fists for characters so we can see the plot is going to have two fists but let's fill out this information let's write an equation for the part of the poster used for the setting in characters so I started with one fifth for the setting and then I added two more fists for the characters for a total of that was three fists altogether. What does the part of the model that is not shaded represent? So these empty spaces over here that's going to be the section for the rest of the poster. Rest of the poster which we know the rest of the poster is supposed to be for the plot. So now write an equation for the part of the poster that she will use for the plot. Well to do that this is just like um, we did yesterday's lesson. You take your total which is five fifths. You're gonna subtract what we already use for the setting and the characters. So we're going to subtract our three fifths and that will leave us with two fifths which we're using for the plot. So Julie will use two fifths of the poster to describe the plot. Okay so we can see you can draw a model and easily see that it's two fifths or you can do the math five-fifths minus three-fifths is two-fifths. As long as they have common denominators, it's pretty easy to figure that out. Now, let's see. What if, what if we have something like this? What's the error? Luke says one-fifth plus two-fifths equals three-tenths. So if I look at that, I can see what he did I can see that he did 1 plus 2 equals 3 and 5 plus 5 equals 10. But that's not correct because when we're adding fractions, the denominator has to stay the same. So this, this is not correct because he added the denominator. You're not supposed to do that. The denominator is just supposed to say the same. So really, instead of 3 tenths, this should equal 3 
this. All right, so this was lesson 7.5, and if you're in my class, the password is Daisy Duck, and you should have filled out page 283 in your big math books. And if you have any questions, just leave me a message.